In this video, we're going to talk about two very important things regarding zeros. So there's two cases. So the first case is if you have a zero and you have even multiplicity. Say you have even multiplicity at C, and C is a zero. If that's the case, if you have even multiplicity, what happens is the graph of your function touches and turns around. So the graph touches and turns around at, at C, so at your zero. So what would that mean graphically? So like say you had a zero of two and the graph was doing this, it would just, boom, touch and turn around. So touch and turn around. Two, if you have an odd multiplicity, so odd multiplicity at C, then in, in this case, the graph touches, graph, sorry, graph crosses, <laughs> graph crosses at C. So in this case, the picture would look something like this. Say two was the zero, so it would just, it would just cross, right? It would just cross at, at, at C. Okay, so let's do some examples where we find the zeros and determine whether um, the graph touches and turns around or whether it crosses. So let's see, so EX means example. So how about F of X equals X minus four to the fifth, X plus two, to the 11th, x minus one. And so the question is to find the zeros and determine whether it touches and turns around at the zero or crosses at the zero. So all you do is you set this whole thing equal to zero. And then you see from here, you can get all of the answers. So what makes this zero? Well, four. So x equals four. What makes this zero? So negative two. So x equals negative two. What makes this zero? So x equals one. So these are your zeros. Let's see, so what we have here are the zeros. So four is a zero, negative two is a zero, one is a zero, really simple. And then you just look at the exponents to determine whether it crosses or touches and turns around. So here your multiplicity is five. So the multiplicity is five. And five is odd, so it crosses the graph at four. Here the multiplicity is 11. So multiplicity is 11. And 11 is odd, so it crosses the graph at 11. What a terrible example. They're all crosses. This is multiplicity 1. <laughs> and then it also crosses. Okay, we should probably do one more um, just so you see the other case. So example. So whenever the multiplicity is odd, it crosses. So it crosses, crosses, crosses. So in this case, it crossed at all of them. So f of x equals, how about this one? x minus 1 to the fourth, x plus 2 cubed. So again, if we're looking for the zeros, we start off by setting everything equal to zero. And then what makes this zero? Well, one makes it zero. So one is one of our zeros. What makes this zero? So negative two. So negative two is another zero. And then you just look at the multiplicities. So here the multiplicity is four. It's even. The multiplicity is four. It's even, so it touches and turns around. Let's put ta-ta, touches and turns around touches and turns around. Here it's odd. So the multiplicity is three, so it's odd. So in this case it crosses. I just abbreviated touches and turns around, just being lazy. So whenever it's even, it touches and turns around. Whenever it's odd, it crosses. Um, that's it.